Hi, it's Margie Groff, Executive Director for the Okemo Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce. This is early September and I just want to show you what Ludlow looks like today. Um, right now I'm in front of the Governor's Inn, a bed and breakfast in Ludlow, right on Main Street. He's open for business, fall foliage is coming and uh, I want to just take you down some Main Streets and show you that the businesses are open and we're back in business. Now we're looking down uh, Main Street and you can see uh, this is early September Veterans Memorial Park one of the trees is starting to turn in the background you can see Okemo Mountain Resort and the Best Western Hotel you'd never know there was a flood here two weeks ago and we're in front of Hunter Leah Gallery and Frame Shop and this side of Main Street two weeks ago was totally underwater and look at it now you'd never know anything happened here uh, Hunter Leah is open for business we're in front of Cassandra's Home Furnishings and Chapter 14 and Pop Belly Pub and you could look all the way down Main Street all the way to Okemo Mountain Resort in the background and you can see we're open for business. It's very busy here. You can take Route 103 all the way from exit 6 off of 91 all the way through to Rutland. Here we are in front of Panarello's Italian Fine Dining in Ludlow, Vermont. Uh, he's open for business and looks forward to your seeing you at Fall Foliage. This is the greatest disaster relief story in Ludlow. This parking lot, uh, Shaw's parking lot, had at least three feet of water throughout the whole thing. And Shaw's, within six days of the storm, opened a full service supermarket under this tent in the parking lot. It's full service, they have everything in here. I've shopped in here already and it's just amazing within six days they were back up and running. Rite Aid Pharmacy is open. Mary Davis uh, moved to their uh, Mary Davis other office up at Okemo Mountain Resort and People's Bank didn't miss a beat. The ATM was open and now they're full service working out of the trailer in the corner there on the right hand side. So the story in Ludlow is how resilient these people are and how efficient business has been back up and running uh, within a week of the storm. We just left Ludlow and we're now in Chester. We came on Route 103, no problem. And we're at the Chester Depot and there's the Town Hall, Salon 2000. And here we are in front of Lee's Eyes Chester Market and they haven't missed a beat. They've been open for business. Here we are uh, on 103 in Chester, Vermont. You can see cars coming into Chester with no problem from 91. And you can see Gallery 103 is open for business. Here's Mountain Man and he's open for business. You'd never believe two weeks ago that this place was underwater. It's amazing how fast everything is back up and, and open for business. So we invite you to come, spend money in our shops, eat in our restaurants, stay at our wonderful inns and resorts. We welcome you to our fall foliage season. Here we are at the Chester Info Booth, which is, I think, one of the cutest little info booths I've ever seen. And uh, it's looking, we're looking down the street, and you can see Hugging Baron is open, the art gallery is open, and the green is just beautiful. And they're looking forward to their October 1st and 2nd annual uh, craft fair on the green and hundreds of vendors are here and hundreds of people come to this beautiful event. The couldn't be a nicer day today with the sun shining in early September and Chester's open for business and we welcome you to book your foliage vacation now. Hi, 
Hi, we're in Weston, Vermont, standing on Route 100 South in Weston. You can see behind me that the roads are clear and all the stores are open for business. As we look at the Christmas tree shop and the Bryan House and the Vermont Country Store and the Village Green Gallery, um, Weston is open for business. And, you know, two weeks ago we had a terrible storm. By looking at it now, you'd never know. Uh, the leaves are beautiful. They, some of them have already started changing. So we invite you to come on down to Weston and come visit us in the Okemo Valley. Here we are outside the Okemo Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce office. We were open six days a week and are open six days a week. Uh, the storm did not affect us or this plaza at all. We were like the nerve center here during the storm, letting people know how to get around and how business can access um, information. And this plaza itself was had about two or three feet of water, but the amazing thing is it didn't damage any of the buildings. The water did not get in any of the buildings in this marketplace. All the way from the lawyer to Colmus Cafe, to Sotheby's and Ludlow Pharmacy and Java Baba's and the new post office right in the front. None of the buildings were affected at all. We were all up and running uh, six days a week. So here we are. We welcome you. You can see from this video that we are open for business. The roads are accessible. The leaves are on the trees and they will be turning for foliage. And we welcome you to come shop and dine and stay and eat in the Okemo Valley.